This is a really awkward shot of him. <laughs> it's because he can smell your food. <laughs> God, stop. Come here. Doug. Good morning guys, what is up? And I hope you're all having an awesome day. Today's been a really chill day. Been working a whole lot on my business ZB socials. Plus I also spent so long cleaning the house today. Sarah's just going out to the shops and I thought I'd surprise her. So um, I know it seems really odd, especially where we live, we get so many mosquitoes, but I decided to take off all of the screens on my windows and stuff like that and clean them all up and they look insane. Plus the rug is back um, because he's kind of getting toilet trained enough. But we're getting, come here. Dougie! Oh, he's a bit tired. Oh. oh, he's a bit tired. Come on, you're supposed to be a puppy. <laughs> what are you doing, mister? You ready for your needles this afternoon? No, oh, poor little Dougie. Alright guys, so there's a few things I wanted to do in today's video. Um, first of all, I need to fix up the oil leak in the R33. I still haven't got that cam gear. We're getting there. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. But the sandwich plate, uh, unfortunately, is leaking a little bit of oil. It's not too much. I don't know whether you guys will be able to see. I just put some yellow things down. That's not even that bad. You can't really see it. I guess it's only when you're on the car and it gets hot and stuff like that. Um, so I wasn't able to sort of grip the oil filter as much as I possibly wanted. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do, I managed to borrow the tool from Riley once again. So we're going to quickly uh, see if we can tighten up the oil filter back up on that. Hopefully just clamp those rubber seals in a little bit more. So we'll quickly do that. Um, pray to God this doesn't leak. We'll take it around the block a little bit. I put the Falcon back inside because it's lived three days outside now, which I feel so bad about. Um, but yeah, quickly do that. Make sure everything still works and make sure she's still got some oil in it and we should be sweet. Once again, have I never mentioned how much I hate working on RB25s? <laughs> Alright, so we're So in the garage, I put these down, it doesn't even look like it's leaked over them. I think there's all spots here are from the cam gear, um, from the bottom of the engine. But anyway, I'm just going to use one of these, quickly clean up all that oil underneath it, and hope it doesn't leak anymore. So I'm just quickly running the engine and just quickly going over the sandwich plate. And what I could feel was underneath the actual, um, underneath the sender right there, I can actually feel like there's oil, like it's there's residue down there. So I'm going to start the engine again and have a quick little feel around. See if I can feel any oil coming out, because it's not coming out from the bottom of the oil filter. The part where the filter and the sandwich plate actually meet is not leaking. I just quickly felt under it and I couldn't pick up any oil. However, on the actual block itself, underneath the sender, was all wet. Um, so we're going to quickly uh, rev up the car again. I'm just going to feel there and just make sure, because at the moment, the actual um, part underneath the sender is... Let me just have a quick feel. As you guys can see, it's completely clean. So what we'll do, we'll start up the car again, and I'll have another little field down there, and we'll get that sorted. I have a suspicion that it could be one of those grub screws, but I'm not quite sure. Let's just have another little look-see. It's the actual grub screw itself. Is it? Oh, the grub. Yeah. The actual... I, can, I can feel the seal between the plate and the engine, and I can feel the seal between um, the it's filter and the block, so it's oh, like in, the, in the plate. So right underneath? No, I think it's the, the sender. I didn't tighten it up enough. Ah, uh, okay. Or well, the thread tape's not working. Might have to take it all, whole thing out again. Ugh. All right, guys, I found the problem. Have a look at this. This is how loose it was. <laughs> so I'm tightening up the pressure sensor, she's going in, as you can see, just going to make sure she's all tight, make sure I don't over tighten it, because it is a 1 8th MPT, 
It's gonna be sweet. All righty, -oh. test day. All righty, -oh, so uh, just cleaned it all off. Gauge is working, so I haven't <laughs> wrecked any wires while tightening it up. So she's all good. Um, if anything, it's actually just wrapped the wire around the uh, the regular uh, harness there. So I haven't pulled anything, which is sick. Actually, it fits up nicer now. And uh, yeah, now we're just waiting for uh, to see if any oil comes out the bottom of it. Let's have a quick feel. Nah. Yes. Oh, it's a little bit. Yeah, there is still a little bit actually. God damn it. That's set number three. Let's hope this works. <laughs> so unfortunately this is as tight as I'm willing to go. And as you guys can see, oh, I, I did get oil off it though. There's still oil there? Yeah. Did you put enough thread tape on? There you go. Yeah, there's heaps of, heaps of thread sealing on it. Or oh, enough anyway, not too much, not too little. Uh, I think I'm going to have to pull the whole thing off. Uh, it's not really that hot, but I gotta go do some other stuff with Doug. Alright, so I was hoping to get this fixed uh, before we go out because I wanted to take Doug in this car. He's never been there before, so I wanted to see how it goes with loud cars. But um, anyway, I haven't taken the Falcon anyway, so I'm pretty happy either way. Damn, it sucks so much. I think I gotta pull the whole lot off and just retighten everything just to make sure everything's all sorted. Maybe um, take everything out, clean it all up, put some new thread sealer in there. <laughs> so annoying. Alright, go for it. There you go. I'll hold you wash. <laughs> Yay, Dougie loves bath time. <laughs> Does he definitely not like it? Oh, he hates it. It's okay. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> just head that. Come on. Right, he was a lot easier when hey. he was smaller. Hey. Let's reach right, ready, Sarah. Oh, you just flicked Shampoo me. Shampoo for days. Oh my god, there's so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's okay. Oh, fucking He's going to be a, a very... Oh, hi. Ugh. Oh, hi there, mister. You better go to sleep. <laughs> he won't go to sleep. A hundred percent, he won't go to sleep. Now, don't let him touch the black bit. <laughs> because he will scratch the absolute crap out of it. Okay, go. All good? Let's go. Alright, y'all. Get us over with. <laughs> He's oh, so, so cute. Clean. So here we have a little dog. He's just sort of calmed down a bit. Oh, wait, no, he hasn't. Okay, we're going again. Oh, yeah, we're going yeah, again. Yeah, we're going again. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, alrighty. You ready, Dougie? Well, we survived. Are you ready? Now we're relaxed now. The whole ready, time Dougie? you were stressing, and now we're like relaxed and we're here. <laughs> little man, you are annoying us. He's so cute. Alright, Doug, let's go get your shots. Let's go buy you a cat. <laughs> oh, can I have a cat? Yeah, let's go have a look. Have a look. What did Dougie think? He doesn't like the vet. He doesn't like the vet. I think we've established that. Mm -hmm. Dougie! Dougie! Hi! <gasps> Hello! <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we're back working on the RV25 and I had the car running for a little bit because I tightened the fuel fill... Uh, because I tightened the oil filter, um, I tightened the, uh, the actual pressure sensor uh, everything down there is tight. Um, the one thing I hadn't tightened was the grub screws. Um, like I tighten them all up outside the car, but there's only so much pressure you can put on it whilst holding down the sandwich plate. Um, it feels tight, but when you chuck it on the car, like it's like straight around. So anyway, um, tightening up the grub screws now, there's two of them left. Um, oh yeah, and how I managed to find that was um, once I, you know, I cleaned down all the oil, started the car, held my finger over one of the holes for a bit, um, and a pool of oil exactly the size of the hole um, came out. So, uh, trying to tighten them all up now, they're definitely going a whole of a lot tighter. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep going, and hopefully no oil comes out. The only thing is, is I keep dropping the freaking Allen key. So Max and Chloe have managed to help me with the Allen key multiple times. Rodeo, so I've scratched up my whole arm working on this freaking 25. Max has scratched up his arm getting Allen keys out because I can't reach because I'm... God didn't make me tall enough because I'm only four foot. Riley's out here just cruising, playing with the RC car, being a massive help. Thanks, Wiley. Bum, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. 
I'm just, I'm just, I'm just smashing this out. I've been working on it for probably about 25 minutes just to try and tighten all those bolts. If it doesn't work, yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, first of all, get a little bit of a wipe up, get rid of all the excess oil. The oak was like, oh fuck. <laughs> fingers on the holes down here just gonna make sure that it's not leaking out of those holes because if I have a leaky hole it's not ideal leaky holes mean bang bang engine and Rodney will come knocking Woohoo! yeah Riley celebrate with me Alrighty guys, the final, the final test. As you can see, no oil whatsoever on my hands. Whew. Now the only thing that's leaking on this car is that, uh, that cam gear. We will get that sorted guys. Oh, I'm like, I don't know if you guys could tell with that clip, I'm like walking back. I'm buggered. That took way too long than it needed to, and it scratches up your whole arm. Probably should consider cutting the end of those zip ties and getting some flush cuts. <laughs> it's probably your whole reason why I have so many scratches on me. Ah, oh, sick. I'm happy with that. <laughs> oh, what happened, Mr. Drifter? I am this close to making another homemade YouTube video. <laughs> that close. I get way closer than that. That's that's a weak effort for me. I'm actually kind of disappointed in myself. Not bad. Good sword. She done. Car's finished. Did I mention we're going drifting Sunday? You can. Where? Archerfield. Well, I'm gonna go install Luke Fink's LEDs. You wouldn't know about that joke, but Luke does. And so does all the amount of butthurt people that have come on and gone, You should keep to your word about installing Luke's LEDs. I've got other this is the stance you need when looking at drones. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. The top, make it drop. It's so <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Also guys, thank you so much for watching the whole video. I hope you guys all really enjoyed it. Um, massive update. Looks like we might be going drifting tomorrow night. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.